Hello, I am Leanne, and we are excited tonight. We have had some technical difficulties, <laughs> so you're not <laughs> watching this live, but but um, we are. We figured it out. Um, we are all here in our homes, and uh, like everything, sometimes things just don't quite go as planned, um, and which is how this all came about. But um, when we realized that our 2020 was going to look quite different than we had planned that we weren't going to be going um, you know, across Canada to trade shows, meeting with you face to face. We, we didn't want to not connect with you. We didn't want not be able to show you products to um, you know, include tips on how to use those products and most importantly, to answer your questions. So we brainstormed, we came up with um, Ask the Expert series and while we were going to go Facebook Live, we have it recorded. And uh, so tonight we are thrilled to have a representative from Gallagher here with us from his home in the U.S. where it is well after 9 p.m. now. <laughs> and um, he's here to answer all of your questions regarding um, livestock tag readers, way scales, data collectors, he is Gallagher's technical support advisor, the person who trained us in Kansas City in regards to readers and way scales. He is our go-to person for all <laughs> questions we ever have on this. Um, and uh, it is Ray Williams. So Ray, I so appreciate you taking the time, bearing with us with our technical difficulties. And it's all good. And working late with us to, to help us with all of our customer customer questions. Well, thank you, Leanne. I am thrilled to be here tonight with all of you, and I hope this finds all of you at home as well as well. Um, this is uh, pretty exciting for us to do this, and uh, so your questions are welcome, and I'll do my best to answer them as clearly as I can. So. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Paige. Um, so we would just like to thank everyone for bearing with us with the technical difficulties. Um, just wanted to say that if we don't get to your question that you post in the comment during our recording, uh, we will comment or we will reply to your question um, in the comments after um, the recording is posted. Um, so at this time we will get started. So Ray, I just bought an HR5 tag reader. What should I do first? Well, one of the first things we tell folks when they get their reader at home uh, is to go ahead and get it set up with uh, the country and the, the date and uh, the, the, the mode of, of weighing and such. Uh, so you would have your, your choice of either kilograms or pounds. And it, it walks you through that process in the beginning. So after that's all done, um, just kind of play around with the, uh, the, the main screen. There's a, a nine box screen that has all the icons and you'll notice that the bottom of the, of the reader, there's a directional arrow with an okay in the center. And that allows you to navigate throughout the, the wand reader and uh, get to different, different places. One of the first things that we, we, we look at is a session. And a session is any time that you work with your animals, whether the reader is being used by itself or whether you're connecting it via the Bluetooth to your scale. And what's really cool about this reader, it has both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities on it. So when you connect it to your scale with it, you can read the EID tag and it transfers it right into the scale also, when you're working animal pens, let's say you've got a doctoring area, you can take the reader by itself and you go out and make notes and record up to nine traits and life data and different uh, uh, treatments, if you will, right on the, on the reader itself. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. The scale itself will record all kinds of traits and uh, notes as well. But like I said, there's options where you can definitely take it about and, and do your own work with it. So we try to discuss what kind of sessions that you like to do. You might have preg check sessions, you might have calving sessions, or different types of um, uh, treatment sessions. And all of those things you have on a list of, of traits and activities that you can pick and choose from and um, put together at least nine, like I said, nine traits per session if you want to, plus a note that can be turned into an alert. 
So the next time you see the animal, there will be a note that shows up in the middle of the screen that allows you and alerts you that you need to look at that animal a second time. Okay, that is, I love that alert feature. I think that is so handy. Yeah. Um, okay, so our second question that we had was, I have existing data that I've been keeping on my livestock. How do I get that information into my new reader? The, one of the first things that we tell people as well is to download our software off of the internet. Go to gallagher.com and you'll, uh, you'll go to animal management and uh, go to the support tab and download our APS, which stands for Animal Performance Software. Now, when you get it downloaded with your equipment, um, you'll, you'll, have, uh, you'll register the, the equipment and you'll get the opportunity to get an unlock code for your software. Once you get the software downloaded, it gives you the ability to take an Excel file. Let's say you've got a third party program that you're working with right now, or you've recorded all these kind of this data on Excel. You have the ability to download it now into our software through the uh, it's a file extension that's called a CSV, which is the same as an Excel file, if you will. So you bring it into the, into the software, that way you then can kind of figure out what you want to bring into the scale for history data. And it, it allows you to import it right in. There's a what we call an import wizard that kind of lines up all the columns and gives you all the options to, to bring it into your system. So some people have a lot of data that they've been recording over the years. Some of it's written down in a book. And like I said, some of it's in the computer. Some of it might be in a third party program, but all of it can be then inputted in, import, it imported into the system and put right onto the scale or onto the reader if you, if you want and have that, that historical data ready for you to go. We'll walk you through that step by step when you get your system. We do an extensive onboarding. So we wanna to talk to you about what you wanna do and we help you every step of the way to get that information into the system so you can be using it right away. Perfect. So how can the tag reader help me when I have newborns uh, being born? Yeah, that HR5 is a really special reader. It's one of the only readers on the market that has the ability to do a mothering menu. It's a, a mothering session if, if you want it. So in essence, what it happens when you select a trait on it that call, that's called mothering, it allows you to identify the dam first and then her offspring. And then it merges those two files together right on the reader. And then when you import it into the software, the offspring will show up with the dam and then it will show up also in a pedigree tree. So it allows you to keep track of those offspring right away when they're born. Now you can enter that data um, anytime you want to, or you, like we said, you can do it right on the reader in the mothering menu. And we're gonna show you how to do that here in a few minutes. So we'll come back to that in a little bit, but it's, it's a great feature that you'll really enjoy. Okay, I can't wait, because that, that was a popular question. <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, okay, so then uh, question number four is, can I use my TW data collector without weighing the animals. Yes, absolutely. We encourage people to take the scale with you. Um, you can take it into the house, you can take it out in the field, you can put it in the vehicle and take it with you into the field. Um, it allows you, if you don't have the reader with you, let's say you don't have a reader right away, you can take the scale and input information right at uh, wherever you're at. It's got a, an eight hour battery on board. It allows you to plug it into a, a 12 volt battery in the vehicle if you need to, or you can plug it into the wall to recharge it when you're not using it. But it gives you the flexibility to enter traits right on the scale. And then later, um, it, let's say you're doing calving with it. You can actually put in a live data, a live uh, uh, birth weight, and then merge it with the dam as well and do other, you know, uh, calving records right on the scale. So it makes, it makes it very flexible, not only when you're using it at shoot side, but right in the field as well. How can I track dosing of medication with my reader or data collector? Well, um, the, the scale has the ability to when the, when the animal gets weighed, let's say it's in, in the squeeze chute and you, you're weighing the animal, there's a trait called dosage where you can name the do dosage like ivermectin or any of the other 
the drugs that you're using or any warmer that you're using that is dosed by weight. You can multiply the hundred weight by the milliliter or the, the CC that you're going to be using for that that particular drug. And also with that, when you enter in a drug treatment into the scale or the reader, it asks you for the withholding period. So you automatically get that feature every time you put that drug treatment in. So when you are weighed, when the animal's weighed, comes up on the screen on the scale, immediately the dosing shows up on the screen and tells you exactly what to give. Our scales are also equipped with the capability of sending the weight to a third party dosing gun, if you want. Um, there's a several different companies from Tapari to um, Automed that make dosing guns. And our scale works in beautifully with those kinds of pieces of peripheral equipment to give you exact dosing. And um, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, we did a study in Denver, Colorado, where we used an Automed gun and we found that uh, over the course of 560 animals, by dosing by weight, exact dosing, we were able to save thousands of dollars in, in, in medications that we would have normally given, you know, because some people just dose the highest weight or the, 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 the average weight of their animal. So if you underdose, of course, that's not good. You overdose, you're, you're usually throwing money away there too. But by getting it exact, you save a lot of money by getting it right on the money. So we can help you get that done with both the reader and the scale.